Bob and his friends picks up the old castle and have lots of fun too. If you're playing for the first time, click on an empty shield. You can choose a picture here for your shield and also type your name. If you don't want to type your name, just choose a picture you like. Okay. Hello, Bob's building yard. Doctor Who? Oh, yes, well, of course we're interested. We? You better come right over. Absolutely. No problem. See you soon. Goodbye. Who is that, Dad? Oh, it was Dr. Mont something or other from the Heritage Watson. Wants to talk to us about a castle. A, a castle? castle? She's a beauty. Look, Bobby. Wow. This is the castle gatehouse. Move your cursor around the screen and click on the games you'd like to play. You can move Bob around the gatehouse by clicking anywhere in the picture. When you finish playing a game, open this special chest for some great treasure. Lots of fun games in the dungeons. Let's play the dungeon games. Play spotting spiders. Let's go and play hunting keys. This is spotting spiders. Bob makes his way through the dungeons underneath the castle until he comes across a door covered with small spiders. He needs to get through this door to get to the next room. When Bob looks closer, he can see that the spiders move away when he shines his flashlight on them. Help Bob clear the doorway with the flashlight. When you move the mouse, you move the light. So move the light over a spider and see how it climbs up its thread. Hold the light on the spider for long enough and it crawls away. If the light isn't on the spider, it starts to climb down its thread again. As soon as you have cleared away all the spiders from the door, it opens and Bob can get through. What will he find through this door? Thank you, Dr. Mount Fitchett. Really? Some important pieces of old treasure in the dungeons? Huh, very interesting. Goodbye. Was that Dr. Mount Fitchett? What was that about treasure in the dungeons? Dad? Dad? Oh, I hope Bob likes spiders. Run away, little spider. Goodbye, spiders. The door is almost clear. Should fix them. Oh, wow! A golden crown! This must be really, really old. Hooray! You've helped Bob in spotting spiders and found the treasure! You get a great reward because you've done such a wonderful job with spotting spiders. This picture is in the special chest in the gatehouse where you can print it out so that you can color it in. Choose a level to play again. Choose easy, medium, or difficult. Or no to go back and choose another game. This is Spotting Spiders. Ooh, what's this? Oh, 
If only I could get through to the door without these spiders being in the way. Hmm. Ooh. Oh! I hope Bob likes spiders. Yes, there goes one. Goodbye, spider. Yes, there goes another one. That's it. Goodbye, spider. The door is almost clear. Oh, that's it! The door is now cleared. Well, I wonder what's behind it. Oh, wow! A golden crown! Choose a level to play again. Play hunt. You can change your diff. Hmm. Uh, can you fix it? This will be the hardest. Hmm. A bit harder. This will be easy. Play spotting. Play hunting keys. Let's go hunting keys. Bob is deep in the dungeons and hunting keys. He finds himself in a room with lots of different treasure chests. Inside every colored chest, Bob can find a colored key. Each chest has only one key that opens it. And this key is the same color as the chest it opens. To start with, move the cursor to the point where you want Bob to go and then click to make him walk there. If Bob can walk to that point, he will. But remember, there are lots of things in the dungeon that Bob can bump into. The cursor shows you where Bob can and can't walk to. Or you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. When Bob picks up a key, move Bob over to a colored treasure chest with the same colored key. Bob opens the chest, and another colored key sits inside, which Bob will pick up. The last colored key found opens the door, and Bob can move into the next room. What will he find there? Huh, what's going on here? Oh, <gasps> now I understand. Colors! Time to go a-hunting for keys! Wow! It's really dark in these dungeons. Ouch! I can't get through there. Ouch! I can't get through there. Get through there. Can I fit it? Yes, I can. Ouch. I can't get through there. Ouch. Wrong color. A dark blue key for a dark blue chest. fit. This is an orange key. Ouch! Can't get through there. I love treasure chests. I bet this will open the door. 
Ouch! Can't get through there. Ouch! This is exciting! Will there be treasure behind this door? Where is the door? A treasure chest! With gold coins! I'll bet the chest is filled with them, and, Dad, here you are. I found you. Hello there, Bobby. Now I have found you, let's get going. You sure did take your time. Okay, Dad. Let's try this way. What would Bob have done without your help? You've helped Bob in hunting keys and found the treasure. Because you've done such a wonderful job with hunting keys, you get a great reward. This picture is in the special chest in the gatehouse where it can be printed out so that you can color it in. Choose a level to play again. Play Stepping Stones. Help Bob play Stepping Stones. In Stepping Stones, Bob has found himself some help from a mouse who wants to help him open the next door. A mouse pops out of her little door and shows Bob a pattern by jumping on the stones in a special order. Click on the stones in exactly the same order as the mouse to make Bob repeat the pattern. If it is the same, the door opens and Bob can go into the next room. What surprise lies behind this door? Huh, what's this, I wonder? <laughs> Hello there. Wow! So if the mouse-sized stones open the mouse door, I wonder if the big ones open the big door. Can I fix it? Yes, I can! Look and listen. Is that a mouse? Goblet. I'll bet Dr. Mount Fitchett would love to see this. You've really helped Bob jump on the stepping stones in the right order and found the treasure. There's a special reward for you because you've done such a wonderful job with stepping stones. This picture is in the special chest in the gatehouse where it can be printed out so that you can color it in. Choose a level to play. Play the games in the maze. Let's play the maze games. Play make a maze. Make a maze. Run a race. This is make a maze. Control Lofty's hook by moving your mouse. First, click on the piece of maze that Scoop brings in, then fit it into the maze. The shapes on the ground give you a clue. When you think it is in the right place, click again to let go of the piece. But you have to hurry. Priscilla is grazing nearby. If a piece of the maze is left too long, Priscilla will wander over and eat it. But don't worry, you get another piece. Be as quick as you can. Finish the maze before Priscilla eats three pieces. Otherwise, the game's over. Get ready to make a maze and keep an eye on that Priscilla. Dr. Mount Fitchett has asked if we can fix the old maze in the castle grounds. That sounds like a fun job. Lofty, we'll need you for this job. We will need to fix the maze before everyone arrives for the pageant. Uh, okay. Okay. Get ready to help Lofty make a maze. Here you go, Lofty. Bob is going to be so pleased. Here you go, Lofty. Oh, um, good. That piece 
of the maze fits well there. Yes, that goes well there. This maze is looking good, I think. Oh, that topiary looks really great there. Here's the next peak. Yes, that goes well there. Bob is going to be really happy when he sees this maze. Oh, wow. We did it. This will be fun for the pageant, I think. Well done. You've made a beautiful maze for Bob's medieval pageant. People will have such fun. Here's your reward because you've done such a wonderful job making the maze with Lofty. This picture is stored in the special chest in the gatehouse. Open the special chest to print it out and color it in. Do you want to play Find a Friend? Find a friend with Bob. This is Find a Friend. Bob's friends are lost in the maze. You can help him find them and get them all out of the maze before it gets too dark to see. You can move Bob around the maze either by using the mouse or the keyboard. Move the mouse to where you want Bob to walk, then click to make him walk there. The cursor shows you where Bob can and can't walk to. Just remember that Bob can't walk through walls. If you want to use the keyboard to move Bob around the maze, use the arrow keys to make him walk left and right and up and down. By the way... Keep an eye on the timer at the top of the screen. When it runs out, Bob has run out of time to find his friends. Hi, Bob. We've got your order here. <laughs> Thanks, Skip. Thanks, Trix. No problem, Bob. I'd better go and see how everyone is getting along with the maze. Hi, everyone. Hello. Is anyone in here? Oh, um, hello, Bob. Exactly where are you, Wendy? Oh, dear. I think I'm lost in the maze, Bob. Well, try to stay where you are, and I'll come and find you. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Spud? That would be terrific, Bob. And Dr. Mount Fitchett? Thanks, thanks Bob. Bob. Is that JJ and Molly, too? Here we go. Come on, everyone. Where are you? Can't find me, Bob. Oh dear. There's a wall there. Terrific maze. Absolutely At last terrific I found you in this maze. maze. Whee! This is At last fun. I found you can't find me, Bob. Maze. Ooh, what fun. Bob find his friends and save them all from being lost in the maze. Here's a reward because you've done such a wonderful job finding all of Bob's friends. This picture will be stored in the special chest in the gatehouse. Choose a level. Run a race. Ready, set, go. Run a race. This is run a race. Choose Spud or one of the others and try to find your way to the middle of the maze as fast as you can. First, choose a character by clicking on Spud, Molly, JJ, or me, Wendy.
Then get ready to start the race. Use the mouse or the keyboard to move your character. Move the mouse to where you want your character to walk, then click to make your character move there. Or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. What are <laughs> you doing, Spud? I'm practicing for the maze race, of course. <laughs> oh, Spud. <laughs> Choose who you want to be by clicking on a character and race your way to the middle of the maze. Spud's on the job, Bob. I'm going to get to the middle first. Okay, everyone ready? One, two, three, go! I think Molly might be ahead of me. I think Molly might be ahead of me. I think Molly might be ahead of me. I beat them all. You've done really well in the run a race game. Choose a level to play games to fix and decorate the castle walls. What fun! Castle walls! Play Robert fixes holes. Robert fixes holes. This is Robert fixes holes. Robert has to fix all the holes in the castle wall. But before he can fill each hole, he needs your help to get the crows out of them. Luckily, Dizzy and Skip are on hand to help. Oh, and Spud, of course. First, Skip delivers some bricks. He delivers some more every time you run out of them. When Spud puts some birdseed on the table, a crow will fly out. As soon as it does, move Robert close to the bricks, and then choose the right-shaped brick for that hole. Now Robert must hurry to fill in the hole before the crow finishes the bird seed. This game can be played with the mouse or keyboard, so to move Robert, just click to the left or right of him, and he will walk over to where you click. The cursor shows you where Robert can and can't walk or use the arrow keys. If Robert needs to use the elevator, just... Don't worry, son. I... Only a few ho... Do you want to ex... Play Robert fixes... Rob... Play Robert fixes holes. This is Robert fixes holes. Robert has to fix all the holes in the castle wall. But before he can fill each hole, he needs your help to get the crows out of them. Luckily, Dizzy and Skip are on hand to help. Oh, and Spud, of course. First, Skip delivers some bricks. He delivers some more every time you run out of them. When Spud puts some birdseed on the table, a crow will fly out. As soon as it does, move Robert close to the bricks, and then choose the right-shaped brick for that hole. Now Robert must hurry to fill in the hole before the crow finishes the bird seed. This game can be played with the mouse or keyboard. So to move Robert, just click to the left or right of him, and he will walk over to where you click. The cursor shows you where Robert can and can't walk, or use the arrow keys. If Robert needs to use the elevator, just click on the elevator and he gets in, or move Robert to the elevator with the left and right arrow keys. To move the elevator up or down, either use the up and down arrows in the picture or use the up and down arrow keys. By the way, if the hole gets filled before the crow finishes the seed, Dizzy finds it a new home. But if Robert doesn't fill it in time, the crow flies back to its hole and Robert has to start again. Watch out for Spud. He loves scaring the birds away from the bird table. <laughs> well, he is a scare crow after all. <laughs> Don't worry, son. I can take care of fixing the castle walls. 
After all, Dr. Mount Fitchett says it's a difficult job. But, Dad... Yes, yes. Since it's such a difficult job, she needs someone just like me with years and years of expert experience. But, Dad, I... Now, Bobby, if you're looking for something to do, why don't you go and help Wendy? Oh, okay, Dad. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Only a few holes to fix, but watch out for those crows! Uh, great, Skip. I was just about to call you. That's okay, Bob's dad. Oh, dear. So many crows. Brilliant! Some more seed for the crows. I can't believe I'm helping crows. Bob's dad. Cool. Who says you can't teach an old Bob new tricks? Eh? Hello, Crow. Follow me. That fits, Bob's dad. Oh, wow. I fixed this part of the wall before that crow got there. Hello, Crow. Follow me. That fits, Bob's dad. Oh, wow! Who says you can't teach an old Bob new tricks, eh? Hello, Crow. Follow me! It's looking good, Bob's dad. Thank you, Skip. Bob's dad. That fits, Bob's dad. Super Spud to the rescue! Oh, Spud! You shouldn't have done that. Oh, dear. So many crows. Bob will be pleased. Hello, Crow. Follow me. That fits, Bob's dad. Brilliant! Who says you can't teach an old Bob new tricks, eh? Hello, Crow. Follow me. That fits, Bob's dad. Says you can't teach an old Bob new tricks. Eh? Hello, Crow. Follow me. That fits, Bob's dad. Brilliant. What a great looking wall. The crows can come with me. Now, what have you done with those crows, Dizzy? <laughs> <laughs> I like a happy ending. <laughs> Great work! You helped Robert fix all the holes in the castle wall. Do you want to play Rob? Play Dr. Mount Fidget's Flags. Dr. Mount Fidget's Flags. Dr. Mount Fidget is decorating the castle with flags and banners for the medieval pageant. But oh dear, some of the flags have blown off, and she needs your help not spuds, to put them up again. All of the flags are in a special pattern. Try to work out the order of the flags. 
click on the flag at the bottom of the screen that you think is missing from the pattern, and Dr. Mount Fitchett will put it in place. Then she moves on to the next one. Dr. Mount Fitchett will start with the first missing flag and will keep moving around the castle until all the flags are back in their place. Just watch out for Spud. You can help make the castle look great for the pageant. This looks terrific. What a great job. But I can't help feeling that there is something missing. I know, I know. It needs an airplane to land on top of it. I think the walls just need a bit of decoration instead. Such beautiful patterns to make. It will look so nice at the pageant when it's finished. Oh dear. That looks great there. <laughs> no, I think we're doing a fabulous job here, Spud. Good. That looks great there. Impressive. Magnificent. Hmm. That doesn't look like it goes there. Oh, I think that might look better somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not sure that will really work, Spud. Good. Good. These are going to look beautiful for the pageant. Wonderful. Congratulations. You finished the Dr. Mount Fidget's Flags game. Do you want to play... Play some exciting games at the moat. Let's play the moat games. Play Pilchard's Lunch Run. Help out with Pilchard's Lunch Run. The castle adventure is going so well that Pilchard wants to help too. She wants to move all of her cans of cat food from one side of the moat to the other. Pilchard must jump from log to log until she reaches her cans on the other side of the moat and then bring them back to her bowl. First, move your cursor to where you want Pilchard to jump. Then click. If you want Pilchard to jump onto a log, make sure that the log is right in front of Pilchard before you click on it. You can also move Pilchard by using the arrow keys on the keyboard, left or right, up or down. If you wait too long or jump before the log is floated in front of Pilchard, she may fall into the water. And remember, Pilchard doesn't like water very much. But then again, neither does Muck. If Pilchard falls into the water three times before she has moved all of her cans of cat food, the game is over. Muck will be on hand to keep an eye on Pilchard. Phew! Time for some lunch, Pilchard? Oh, no! But your food is on the other side of the moat. Don't worry, Pilchard. I'll go and get Bob to give you your lunch. What's that, Pilchard? You want to help Bob, too, and get your own lunch? But how will you get across? You don't even like the water. It's lunchtime. Pilchard's helping out by getting her own food. Look at Pilcher's yum! Wow. 
plug and pilcher gel. on her lunch run. Choose a level. Play Spuds Recycling Fun. Let's go and play Spuds Recycling Fun. This is Spuds Recycling Fun. Help Spud clean out the moat and put the trash in the special recycle bins. Spud has to clean out things made out of wood, like tree branches or logs, plastic, like shopping bags or plastic bottles, and metal, like tin cans or the rims of bicycle wheels. To move Spud along the bank, click your mouse to the left or right of him, or you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Then, when Spud is right in front of a piece of trash you want him to pick up, click on the trash and Spud scoops it up in his net. What fun! The trash floats around, so be quick at picking it up, or it might sink. To put the trash that's in the net into the recycle bin, click on the recycle bin behind Spud. Just watch out for Spud. Sometimes he can get a little carried away. Dr. Mount Fitchett has asked us to clean up the moat. Yeah, I had a look earlier, and it's full of garbage, like bits of wood and glass and metal. <laughs> I know. Why don't we recycle what we clear out? Then we can use it all somewhere else. <laughs> Good idea, Wendy. But how are we going to get all the garbage out before the pageant starts? Spud the Super Fishing Scarecrow is on the job! The moat's a real mess! Yes! Oh, 
sure that's the right recycle bin, Spud. That's it, Spud! Dr. Mo the Mozo. Cool. We're doing a great job. Well done, Spud. I'll get it right next time. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's it, Spud! That's it, Spud! That's it, Spud! Which recycle bin do you put that trash in, Spud? scoop garbage out of the moat with his net and put it in the recycle bin behind him. But be careful that Spud doesn't fall in the water. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. This recycle bin is for all the trash made out of wood. If you click here, you can go back and choose to play another moat game. Do you want to exit this game? Play Spud's Recycling. Let, let's go and play Spud's Recycling Fun. This is Spud's Recycle. Dr. Mo. The moat's a real mess. Time for the big cleanup. Cool. We're doing a great job. Cool. We're doing a great job! Yes! That's it, Spud!
fantastic job! You've cleaned out the moat in. Choose a level. Play game. Click on the pageant banner after you've finished all of the games for a special surprise. Click here and come to Bob's medieval pageant. Let's. Welcome. Welcome. It's wonderful of you to join me at this magnificent pageant. Please join in in all the revelries. It's such fun. Well done. You've done really well helping Bob fix up the castle. Now here are some special things for you to say thank you for all your help. See Bob's postcard parade. Bob's postcard parade. This is Bob's postcard parade. We are all having fun at the medieval pageant. Click on someone's face, and then click on the hole in the postcard where you'd like the face to appear. Then do the same for the other hole in the postcard. You can even add your face. You can change the background by clicking on a different postcard background on the side. Then, when you're happy with your picture postcard, you can print it out. When you're finished playing this game, click the back arrow to go back and choose another activity from Bob's Medieval Pageant. You made it! There's so much fun to be had at Bob's Medieval Pageant. Who's your favorite character? There's me, Wendy, JJ, Molly. <laughs> There's so many. Who are you going to play with next? You can scroll through the faces by clicking on the left and right arrows. Who's your favorite character? You can scroll through the faces by clicking on the left and right arrows. Do you want to exit this game? Well, well done. You've done really well helping Bob fix up the castle. Watch, click here. Bob says, good job. Here is your very own certificate from Bob. Just to say thank you for the great job you've done. Well, click here and come to Bob's Medieval Pageant. Play. When you finish playing a game, open this special chest for some great treasure. This is where you can find all the drawings you've won in the game. If you print this out, you can color it in. Oh, how beautiful! Oh, how beautiful! Do you want to exit Bob's castle adventure? <laughs>